My cooking style is based on my memories. All the dishes I make reminds me of my childhood. I wanted to make a tasting menu that uses some of my favorite Italian ingredients. I wanted to start this tasting menu using the grana padano. I started off by melting down the grana padano cheese, finely grated with some heavy cream. After that, I blended it in the Thermomix. I decided to pair this grana padano cream with an egg. Egg and grana padano are just the perfect pairing. I decided to give a little kick by adding some Italian sausage with some fennel flavors in it and some Calabrian chili and some oranges. I wanted to make sure I use all the part of the grana padano. So I took the crust, I removed the wax and I puff it up in the microwave for a couple minutes. It transforms the rind into crispy and puffed component to the dish. I wanted to have a cold component to this tasting menu, so I decided to reinvent something very common as prosciutto and mozzarella in a more modern way. I melted down some mozzarella, filled it up with heirloom tomato mixture. I wanted to pair this mozzarella with prosciutto San Daniele that gives to the dish salty component and adds harmony to this mozzarella. For the main dish of this tasting menu, I wanted to play around with the traditional recipe of carbonara by substituting the guanciale with prosciutto di parma. I start by making a broth by using the prosciutto di parma scraps and I use this broth to finish cooking my pasta. It really infuses the flavor into the pasta. For the sauce, I created a butter out of the prosciutto scraps that I melted down. I mix it with the eggs, grana padano and some fresh ground pepper. I finished this dish by adding some funny chopped prosciutto di parma to add a nice texture component. Bombolone is an Italian donut. I wanted to play around with this traditional dish by turning it into a savory donut. I tossed it in the finely grated grana padano, filled it up with burrata, fig compote, and then finished the dish with uh, prosciutto San Daniele. The San Daniele pairs just perfectly with the fresh basil, the fig, and the sweetness of the fig compote. It's just like it's from heaven. Grana padano is great ingredients also for desserts because the texture can really change. You can use it as a crumble, you can melt it down, you can use it as a cream. So in this case, I wanted to make a creme caramel, so I infused the heavy cream with some grana padano. I decided to pair this creme caramel with grana padano and hazelnut chantilly. By melting down the grana padano cheese, mixing it with heavy cream and honey, and then I added some hazelnut paste. In this dessert, I wanted to bring together all this flavor and combining the saltiness of the grana padano, the sweetness of the vanilla and the nuttiness of the hazelnut is just a perfect pairing. I wanted to make sure to use every part of the prosciutto, so I melted down the scraps and turned it into a butter that I added into my chocolate mixture. The prosciutto fat just adds the saltiness that goes so well with the chocolate. I wanted to add more prosciutto in this dessert, so I decided to make a prosciutto crumble, like grinding uh, some prosciutto, and then caramelize it with some sugar. I wanted to end this tasty menu with this chocolate dessert. Everybody loves chocolate, and it's just a great way to finish a tasty menu. And also pairing chocolate with prosciutto is just a match made in heaven.